Welcome back everybody. My name is Mr. Teacher and this is the SAT Math Video Guide. We last left off at number 4 of section 3, so let's move on to number 5. And there's a nice Venn diagram here for the problem. Close enough. Um, so this is butterflies. These are grasshoppers. Okay. So there's nine here. 15, 3 in both, and 3 in neither. So this is neither, not grasshoppers. Okay, the Venn diagram above shows the distribution of 30 science students who studied butterflies, grasshoppers, both, or neither. What percent of the students studied butterflies only? So what's a percentage? It's a certain amount out of the total. So our total here is 30. And what's the question asking? What percent of the students studied butterflies only? So butterflies only is just this 9. So our percentage will be 9 over 30 times 100%. So when we simplify this, this turns into 3 over 10 times 100 percent. These zeros cancel out, so it's just 3 times 30 percent. Therefore, the number of students who studied butterflies only equals to 30 percent of the total of the total class, the total science class. That is choice C. Next problem, number six. So there is an XY graph here. Um, like this, this, and then there's two straight lines. And they're perpendicular from what I can see. Um, yes, somewhere over here. So this is point A, negative 2, 3, and 3. This is point B, negative 2, and an unknown T. This is point C which is negative 4 and negative 3. And this is point D, which is 6 and negative 3. So the question says, in the figure above, AB equals to CD. So this equals to this. What is the value of T? So since they say that these two lines are equal, we know that their lengths are exactly the same. So if we can find the length of this line, then we can find the length of that line and figure out the value of t. So the length of this line will be 6 minus this minus 4. So minus 4. This turns into a plus 6 plus 4, so 10. This total distance is 10. So if this distance is 10, then this distance from A to B will also be 10. So we need to find out the value of T. So, and also we know that T will have to be negative. So we can do this. 3 minus minus t, because it will be minus, equals to 10. 
So 3 plus t equals to 10, and t equals to 7. But since this is going to be negative, so we add this, make this a negative value, so t equals to negative 7. That is choice C. Oops. Ooh. Choice C. Sorry about that. Okay, next problem. Number seven. Oh dear. Okay, give me a minute here. Let's start this again. Okay, so number seven. Number seven. If 3x squared is equal to 4y, which is equal to 12, then what is the value of x squared y? So to figure this out, we can separate this entire equality into two separate equalities. 3x squared equals to 12 and 4y equals to 12. If we simplify this, we get, if we divide this side by 3, we get x squared is equal to 4. So we found our x squared value over here. Now we need to find the y value. Well, divide each side by 4, and you get y equals to 3. So we found our y value. So x squared y, which is going to be equal to 4 times 3, which is going to be equal to 12. That's choice D. Hmm. Next problem. Hmm. Okay. Number eight. A nice pink color. So, there's a... Here, this is the diameter of a circle. So there's one circle here. There's another circle here. And there's another circle here. And this is inside a huge circle. And I hope that's good enough because Mine is even worsely drawn to scale. So, I hope you understand. This is A, this is circle B, this is circle C, the smaller ones. So, in the figure above, the circles are tangent as shown. And the center of circle A, which is right here, is also the center of the largest circle, which is this entire circle. If the radius of circle A is 2, so 2, the radius of circle B is 4, so 4, and radius of circle C is also 4, then what is the radius of this largest circle? So, just count up the radius. So, let's count to the right. So, it's 2 which is the radius of circle A, plus one radius of circle C, which is four, plus the radius of circle C again, because this is just one part of the radius. Two times the radius equals to the diameter. So it's just the radius of circle A plus the diameter of circle C. So it's two plus four plus four, which is 10. So the radius of this entire circle this this length is 10 so the correct answer to this problem is D and seems that I've run out of time I hope this video helped you with your math practice and I will be seeing you in the next video